How's the job search going, Buckford? Hey, Bo. Wait, where's Jackie? She's gone. She's gone, mate. What do you mean? Where is she? Just you and me now, mate. Tell me where she is. Can't tell you that. Okay, that's privileged information. Confidential. Anyway, all you need to know is that I'm the boss. Okay, I'm your new case manager. Reality is, come home to roost. Buck's up here, Buckford. Got you an interview. Bitch. You just call me bitch? Bum bum, life of an artist on a door. Whoa, 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 whoa. In New Zealand. So, I see you've been sent to us by Mr. Abel Twerk from the City Central Loos office. Yep. Yeah. Mm. So I'm going to ask you a few questions. General Chichi. Great, cool, okay. Who are you? Uh, well, I'm, th I'm three things. Um, I think the question is more, what am I? Okay, what are you? This is some kind of trap. You're setting me up. Mm. Have you ever had to lead a team? Well, let's stop and think about what leadership is. Let's break down the word. Leadership. Right. I don't think enough people actually think about what that really means. Etymologically. I'm actually leading this conversation right now. Like a ship. Like a big ship. My dad has ten ships. What is your greatest strength? Uh, well, I'm really strong, physically uh, and mentally. Um, we've covered leadership. Um, I get on really well with everyone. No. Um, I can turn the everyday into high art. Go ahead, test me. Table? Upside down table. Bam. 2014. <clears throat> How do your friends describe you? Hmm. Dark pleasure. Secret treasure. Man of leisure. I have 900 friends on Facebook. Your enemies? Much the same. My toothpaste costs $18 a tube. How does that make you feel? Um, uncomfortable. Weird. Mm, broke. Poor. Good. I use ground up cover cover leaves in a pestle and mortar. Have you read Rich Dad, Poor Dad? No, but I have recently been made aware of its existence. Have you ever made a mistake at work? I don't believe in mistakes. Oftentimes in the workplace we need to take risks. Do you consider yourself to be a risk taker? Well I have a theory about this. Right there in my pocket and now on the table I have a very powerful motivational tool. You see in life we have to make choices. Even goats have to make choices. Sometimes we have to make choices about goats. We have to define ourselves, even create ourselves. I choose to do this in terms of goats. Bam, where are you exactly? Stay with me here. Now, the lowest option is to be your average regular goat. Your short hair, your grey, your tongue bird at a stretch. To run with the flock, to don the bow, to graze the lower pastures of life. But wouldn't you rather be this guy? Just look at her, majestic creature of the highlands, princess of the precipice, leaping about nimbly from rock to rock, clippity, clippity, clippity clop. There's not much grass out there, just sporadic patches of alpine tussock. But the valet blackneck can sustain herself for two weeks at a time, on thin air and vast sweeping vistas alone, the ultimate taker of risks. I rest my case. Job secured. Actually, Bam, you were just registering for a recruitment agency. However, you do interview surprisingly well, considering your testing. I think I might have a job for you. And I have an inkling, it'll be right up your alley. I didn't sign up for this. Yeah, you did. I signed a contract. <laughs> Now today we've got a special guest, okay, he's one of our newest contractors and he's a shining example of how one merely needs to decide they want to work in order to get a job, okay, it's that simple folks. Okay, now we've been here, what, 12 weeks? May I remind you this is a six week course, okay? There are no jobs to work. No jobs? 
I was hoping you would say that. Wait one second. Hi guys. Why don't you um, tell them about the job search? Oh, okay. Um, oh, well, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I used to sit just there next to, next to Leroy. Um, you know, I was an artist, aspiring artist, just doing my thing. You know? Yeah, you're a bum, weren't you? You're a bum. Lay about, no direction, just sitting around in a cloud of Mary Jane's perfume. I never smoked. Well, not like a regular person, no, but you were, you were smoking like three bags of weed for breakfast at one point, were you? Like mm. just warming up. No. And you ain't dirt. I mean, you used to eat dirt, pick it out of your bed before interviews. No. Tell them how lazy you were. I guess it's how you define lazy, really. I, I mean, I was pretty busy. Oh. Busy? <laughs> Doing what? Nothing. Slowly. <laughs> Buckford here, real joker. <laughs> tell them about the change. Tell me how you learned to stop being unemployed and really love the job. Well, love's a strong word, Abel. Uh, I think it's more really a question of circumstance. Mm -hmm and the fact that you work tested me. Hmm. But I mean, the fact that I persevered with this job really comes down to my old case manager, confidant and, and mentor, Jackie Milfay. Wow, what a woman. What a case manager. I always remember the first thing she said to me, Bam, do you have any work experience? What she was really trying to say is, Bam, being unemployed is a complex and difficult problem, but I'm here to help. Talking about plan B's. Plan A's are great, they drive you towards greatness, but they don't get us anywhere. Plan B's, however, are about bounty, about balance. If you're in Thailand, cold, hard, but. Plan B's are reality, plan A's are forward. Plan B's are the future, plan A's are. Jackie? Oh, what the hell? Pam, they told me, but I didn't want to believe it. Plan A's are the only thing that matter. Buckford? Well, Jackie, I'm working now. Mm -hmm. I've got a job. Yeah, working, working very hard. From, working very, very hard. Got that 90 day trial, that three month contract. He's very lucky that he's got a job. The point is, Bam. Point is, you've got a job. Art. Work. Fulfillment. Obligation. Integrity. Eating fish fingers whenever you want. Credibility. Eating whatever you want, whenever you want. Except we're not at work. No, lunch. We're on breaks. Multi dish. Multi dishes. Being paid for what you love. Having a successful cleaning business. Tumbler. Ladies love the cleaners. Interpretive dance. The fuck? Bum bum. Life of an artist on a door. Whoa, 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 whoa. In New Zealand. I'm just a shadow of a good king. I've lost it all Cause I don't know if I can love it all I'm way down with a student loan It seems I need a fucking smartphone When we were young we dreamed of golden sands I'd finish school and be a man But that's bullshit cause we never can That's bullshit cause we never can